Hello there and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. In the last video, we went through the entire first world. I uh, did pretty well, I think. Got 100% even. Jump my jet and like jive, guys. I'm not sure that's exactly what he said. I wasn't paying attention. I'm very distracted actually right now by the fact that I changed my microphone setup. I had it before. I had it much farther away. And I didn't realize that I actually had the, like, I think it's the gain setting. It wasn't labeled that in the Windows device properties, whatever, up 30 decibels. So that's why I had it so far away, because it sounded the right volume. But that's I think that's why I had so much noise, and I was using a denoise filter. So that was stupid. I have it much closer at normal settings, and in at least my test, it sounds a lot better. So that's what I'm hoping for. You might hear more breath or plosives, but it, it sounded fine to me. So let's go ahead and start with Hot Head Hop. I love this world. Uh, I love that lava background. I love this lava background. And in fact, that felt weird for a second. This is, I already screwed it up. No, nah, I can do this. This is the level that I recommend grinding for lives in. If I can time this jump. Because you get a two up balloon right at the beginning if you just jump on an enemy. There's a bunch of new mechanics in this first world, first level of this world, including these crocodiles. I thought they drop after a while, but I'm thinking of the later ones, I think. They're just normal platforms. They make fun sound. This is a clampon, I think is what it's called. Or crimps, I think it's crimp. I think clampon is uh, three. Another banana coin? Oh yeah, we're on no banana coins. Should have grinded for some. Ugh. If we get low, I'll start grinding for lives. Because we still, just like the first game, can't exit back to the world map. Uh, I'm actually going <laughs> to... Okay, that's really funny. Him just running into it and dying. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. But each time I die before I get to the checkpoint, I'll get the lives at least. Uh, and then I might grind later if I need to, since, yeah, there's no way to get to the world map or save until you find... Yeah, they knock you in the air after a while. Ooh, it's a very smooth animation, actually. Uh, these guys, by the way, if you hit them while they're out, they'll just go in. So you can attack them repeatedly, break things with them repeatedly. Oh, yeah, the heights are different for different alligators. All these details that I'm not remembering. This part you can just hold to the right. There's the O. God, I, I still didn't finish my full thought. You can't save or go to the world map with Funky until you actually find those Kongs. Uh, I actually want to use this first. Until you actually find those Kongs in the world. God, I couldn't finish that thought. Collect the stars. But so hopefully my microphone audio sounds a lot better. I've been really concerned about it because uh, I'm stupid, I guess. I just didn't look back at the settings again. You cannot start a hover while you're in this midair roll that they put you into. So be aware of that. You got a creme coin. God, my voice. I, I don't know if I'm speaking differently. My voice already... Oh, it's bothering me. Oh, but look at this pretty lava background. Ooh, more importantly, though, new uh, animal friend. This is Squitter. He has multiple abilities. One is that he can shoot out a web that you can stand on as a platform. I was, I was really unsure that entire sentence, how to explain this, what order. But if you press Y, he'll shoot out an attack straight forward. If you hit A... He'll shoot out a web that is more like a ball, and when you press A again, or L or R, actually, which I find way easier to press quickly, uh, then um, it'll form into a platform. God. Apparently, I'm not in a great state of mind to be recording, because I am struggling to speak. But so with squitter areas, they often hide things high up in the air. So anytime you can tell that the screen scrolls vertically, you want to check that. Uh, you can still hold B to run faster with Squitter. 
Hanno. I love Squitter. You can also... Oh, you can't attack with him. Just like you can't hover, you can't attack with him when you're in the midair roll. Often there'll be bananas above you signifying that there's something up there. In this case, a bonus. Got the DK coin earlier. I thought I died. I don't know if he can jump on enemies. He can, but it looks like it doesn't do damage. It doesn't do damage. Interesting. Uh, by the way, something that's really cool is that you can actually just mash the button twice to climb like this immediately. You don't actually have to wait a second. It can just happen instantly. and You can slowly inch forward like this if you want to. But they don't always disappear strictly in the order you place them when they're up close like that. It's weird. Find the token. I'm so tempted to just read it as find the creme coin because that's what it should be. But yeah, so something like this, you can just... Oh, you have to be really fast, though, to climb perfectly vertically. But you can do it. Why am I struggling now? I was doing it perfectly a second ago. Yeah, I think Squitter is my favorite uh, animal friend. Because uh, I th think there's only two new ones? No, that's not true. There are three. I don't remember which path we should take. I think this is just if you still have Squitter, you can take a shortcut. Yeah, and Squitter's attack webs can hurt a lot of enemies that otherwise are invincible. Like uh, the Crusha equivalents. I still don't remember their name. Find the token. And the zingers. I think there are three new ones, like I said. And I think Squitter is my favorite. Although I also like Ratley. And the other one we haven't seen yet is interesting. I feel like it'd be fair to not consider him fully new. And you'll see why I say that later. Ooh, free banana coins. I didn't know they respawn. You can just do this over and over again. That's cool. That's a really good grinding spot, actually. I think that's better than the one I was doing before. Ooh, there are bananas in mid-air, though, over there. Let's check that out as well. It's like one, two, three, four, five. It's about ten seconds that uh, the web starts disappearing. Or if you... Shit. Put too many of them. I don't think there's anything over there. And what does he give me? A life. Nice. It's a good level for lives in general. Yeah, I wanted to check if there's anything at the end. It's always a good idea, too. Usually isn't, but sometimes. I don't know if I've shown Diddy's level victory animation. It's good, too. Yeah, it's 100%. Here's Swanky. This leads to two different things, which is new. First, the world didn't have a thing like that. They were all in a straight line. There are no paths between icons, which is a little weird. The Game Boy Advance versions add that, and it's also, uh, there are pads in three. Although the world maps are also different in three, but we can go to Clubba's Kiosk. Now hear this, landlubbers. Me name is Clubba, and to cross me bridge is gonna cost you many pieces of eight. And if you just don't pay up, I'll run you through like the scurvy dogs ye are. Ahar, it costs 15 creme coins to cross over, mateys. It annoys me that it's 15, because if you get everything up to this point, you're one shy. You can either pick to pay up, which we don't have enough. That's not enough, you banana scoffing scummy land lovers. I apologize. I'm going to stop doing the voice, because I'm not very good at a pirate voice. You can also hit fight him. He'll have to find me more than more than that to pass. If you hit fight him, he'll just hit you and knock you away. It's really funny. Swanky's bonus bonanza again. What do you do for a living? Video game heroes, you say? Well, that's great. Hit the button and let's play. Cranky challenge. What is the name of the first lava level on this area of the island? Boiler curfew, hothead hop, or meltdown mayhem? That's what I'm looking for. Next one, please. What is the name of this area of the island? Crocodile Cauldron, Alligator Alley, Crocodile Cove. Cauldron. That's correct. Here's the next one. How many times did you have to hit the end of area giant bird to kill him? It was six, wasn't it? No, it was four? I'm sorry, but that's not the answer I've got here. Damn. I can't fail much more. It's four. I knew you'd win this time. Lucky Lava. What colors were the crocodile heads you jumped on in the first lava level? Uh, 
Green and brown. You clever little monkey. Now listen carefully. What is an extra lives balloon colored red worth? One life. That's correct. Here's the next one. Excluding the end of area boss, how many levels were there in the first area of the island? Six. Mm -hmm. What? That's not quite right. Better luck next time. Oh, shit. I don't have enough now. <laughs> is it? It's four? That's five. We have a winner here tonight. Nice. That's pretty good lives. I'll come back when I have more banana coins. Till next time here on Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. I guess I'm trying to do like a radio voice. Cannon's Claim. I'm gonna get confused by the voices, but I am gonna try to do most of them because it is fun. I just really suck at the pirate one. I think there's a thing, yeah, over here. Oh, that's right. It's one of my favorite songs in the game. Find the token. Uh, yeah, these barrels. Uh, if they have the face of a Kong on them, then you can only enter them with that Kong. So with Dixie, we can climb like this, and if we switch, we can get in this one as Diddy. Switch again. And then that's it. Nice. We now have enough Krim coins, so I'm actually going to go back to Club's kiosk after this level. If I die, I'll actually just do it before the end of this level, but otherwise... Oh, that's just for the DK. I was like, what is that first barrel for? This. Oh, I should remember what he's called. I will look up the enemy names before I record the next episode. I don't want to do it right now. But it's it's starting to really annoy me that I don't remember them. Damn. These are a bit different because you can move yourself in midair. There were some like this in the first game as well. Oh, I should just shut up unless you listen to the music for a sec. There's always a bunch of sounds, but goddamn, it is so pretty. Oh, this game has such phenomenal music. <laughs> I love that you fall all the way down. Okay, club is kiosk. Shiver me timbers, where's me loot? Cause if I don't get none, you don't cross over, mateys. Yeah, I'm gonna try a little bit on the voice, but not too much. Pay up, thanks for the booty. You're me best mateys now. The gold barrel, which brings us to the lost world. Don't mind that, I was just checking to see uh, that it is to call that it is. Lost World is the name of this world. It is a secret world that you access with Krem Coins. It's the main purpose of collecting the Krem Coins. There's a monkey museum here. Talk to Cranky. Well, 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 if it isn't our trainee hero. I didn't expect you to find this place, Sonny. You must have got lucky. Now that you're here, I'd better tell you about it. This here is the Kremlings Lost World. And that big crocodile head in the middle is where you need to get to if you're going to finish this silly game properly. But to get there, you have to beat Captain K. Rule and complete all the bonus levels as well. A task I'm sure is well beyond a whippersnapper like you. I don't know why I'm doing this, but here are some ridiculously cheap hints for this world, which I'm sure you'll be needing as well. What do you want this time? So yeah, this is a bonus world. Uh, this is the name of all the levels, so I'm not going to go into any of these right now. But each of the main worlds after the first... That's enough help for now. I need some rest. Each of the main worlds after the first has an entrance to the Lost World where you can access one level and one level only. And then you need to complete all of them to access that giant crocodile head. And we'll get to what that is when we do that. So first, let's go ahead and do Jungle Jinx. Although, I should probably finish the other level first. But nah, let's do Jungle Jinx. I also remember that I forgot to... Yeah, bananas. I knew there was something there. I forgot to read one of the level hints for the first world. So I need to still go back and do that. I really like this world. The main gimmick is level, I should say. The main gimmick is these tires that bounce around. You can jump on them. Roll around, bounce around, whatever. They do bounce sometimes. Oh my god. And you bounce around for sure. 
We can go underneath this zinger or above. Above gets us the bananas. I don't remember exactly where the secrets are. You can either bounce high or low. I thought I am wrong. You always bounce high, I guess. I don't know why I was playing as Diddy. When I have both Kongs, I always play as Dixie. I actually forgot her name there for a sec. It's fine, she's not the main character yet. Oh, I just I just spent six hours editing down uh, clips from my Mario Party stream yesterday. I'm recording this on Sunday. It, the stream was on Saturday. Uh, it's not. It didn't. It did not need to take that long. That's just how long I took, especially because I was fiddling with uh, visuals to try to get it to look as good as possible. Because obviously, the stream video is horizontal. And I wanted them to be shorts, so they're vertical. Or they could have been squares, but there's just wasted space when you're actually watching it. So I went ahead with vertical after a while. Shit. I knew there's a thing here, but I fucked up on getting to it. Destroy them all! Uh, but yeah, there's some clips that I like, and they'll be going up uh, every day. I can't... Wait, where's the... What? Oh, oh, shit. I forgot you can do this. Damn. That's why it gives you a Kong barrel, because you you need it. Oh, well, I can get back. But yeah, so over the next week or so, every day we'll have one short uploaded at noon. Uh, they still have the old quality of microphone audio since I just figured this out today. Uh, but going forward, they should sound a little better. And I think I'll actually just stream Mario Party like until I'm sick of Mario Party. Like While I'm still doing the series myself on my casual, my own casual time, I'll just stream Mario Party because it's really fun. I'll try to have guests as well, but at the very least it'll be me. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't know, I didn't mention you might have seen there that we actually got, whoa, big bounces. I don't think that's actually higher, but it looks higher. We got a DK coin or a video game hero coin instead of a creme coin. And yeah, the bonuses in the Lost World have DK coins instead. It's part of why I mentioned that there are, there are more bonuses than there are creme coins. Although I still don't actually remember how many creme coins there are. Because you also get them from bosses. Oh, shit. So it's it's not one-to-one. -one. Oh, that's so far back. These levels are quite long. You can see I've already gotten all the bonuses. The only one. There's only one bonus in each of the Lost World levels. God, all the details that I should remember are just coming back to me at inconvenient times while I'm explaining other shit. Oh, shit. You, these levels are harder. You gotta be smarter than this. Ugh. But I think I mostly got my thoughts through there. I'm about to play more of Mario Party 1 uh, with my girlfriend and my roommate later today. I think I mentioned before that we were doing uh, like a playthrough of all the Mario Party games. Or at least that's what I want to do. We started with one. Uh, and we're tracking all the stats and trying to see who wins the most. It's basically what the Runaway guys did as their Let's Plays. I fucked up. I don't... Damn it. <laughs> that was stupid. You do need to finish the levels. Just because I have all the collectibles doesn't mean it counts. I could technically come back to finish it, but that's dumb. But yeah, basically we're doing the Runaway guys Let's Play, what they did. Tracking victories on each board and just doing one game of each board. Because uh, I, I like the idea of doing that casually. And I also, I intend to do, uh, like, a Let's Play of Mario Party eventually. But that would take some coordination. And uh, at the very least, I'll probably do some casual videos and streams. Like I said, I intend to stream. God damn it. I'm being stupid again. It, it, these levels are harder than the main levels, for the most part. So it makes sense to have some trouble. But... 
I will be streaming Mario Party at least once a week for the foreseeable future, at least until I'm no longer pursuing it myself. I'm just repeating so much. This video is going to have so much less progress. Ugh. That was really weird the way I slid down there. No. Gotta be smart. You should stop whenever there's a ledge and time your jumps. Uh, when you're bouncing on them like that, you can usually just hold forward and you'll land on them. But it can get a little weird sometimes. Just being so overzealous. In the first world... Oh, and for the most part in the second world too. You can kind of just wing it, but that's not true in this this world. Yeah, I can just get that. How many do we have now? Nine. Okay. I'll go back and do Swanky's bonus bananas at the end of this. Her hover is really useful, and I don't know why I haven't been using it. Oh, it wants you to get his barrel to use here. I don't care. I don't care about getting Kong. It doesn't matter. There we go. Jesus. Finally finished it. Return to Crocodile Cauldron. And yeah, it just brings us back here. We can go talk to Clubba again, but there's no reason to. But we'll we'll see him again going forward. It's great to see you back. I wish you could win everything. I really do. Gorilla Game. How many banana bunches would you have to collect to get an extra life? Oh, because they're five. So 20. What? Oh, they're 10. That's right. I did the same thing the last time I played. That's not quite right. Better luck next time. You clever little monkey. Now listen carefully. Where did the beetle first appear during the first area of the island? Level two. Good answer. Here we go again. What is the name of Diddy's ponytailed girlfriend? The one you're talking to right now, Swanky? <laughs> Didette? <laughs> Trixie or Dixie? Well done. You got them all right. Nice. Despite all those deaths, I still have 13 lives. You've been great contestants. Doing voices just makes me think of the fact that I should really let's play Donkey Kong. Fuck. Not Donkey Kong 64. Maybe eventually, but... Ugh. Uh, Star Fox 64. Back to Cannon's claim, though. Cannon! That's the name for the dudes with the cannonballs. They're called Cannons. I was like, I knew it's something simple that I should remember. I just didn't. I expected him to just run off screen. Whatever. We're fine. Just be cautious. That's all it takes. By the way, that's how you get this DK barrel. If you kill him, then I don't think there's any way to get it. Shit. There are often multiple paths in these vertical stages. And sometimes they lead to secrets, and sometimes they don't. This one leads to the, the O there. That's how you get it. Well, I think you can also... Oh, just barely not. But sometimes you can just, like, hover near one wall, and you're pretty likely to hit a bonus or whatever secret. Shit. I think it's just for bananas, but I do want to take that path right there. Oh my god, this video is going to have so much less progress because there's no way I'm finishing this world. And that's fine, I did a little bit of the Lost World, so... And I, I did say I did not expect to get a world in every video. But it's always a bummer when, like, the rate of progress suddenly drops off. Even if it makes sense, it's still a bummer. Shit. I am playing quite poorly. But, uh... One of my favorite things about Star Fox 64... Which, by the way, it is one of my favorite games of all time, like this one. Is the voice acting. Which is why it's really weird to me to think about the fact that... Shit! Apparently, in the Japanese version, I've heard, the voice acting is just, like, normal, good voice acting. It's not cheesy, like the American one. Which is a kind of a bummer to me, actually, because I love the cheese of the voice acting. Uh, I am... I kind of want to do fuck, some impressions, but I don't know. Nah, I won't right now, but I definitely will uh, when I inevitably let's play that game. Did I actually get the O? I could have sworn I didn't.
but okay. If they shoot cannonballs, then you can't jump on them, obviously. Only if they're shooting barrels. Okay, there we go. I got to the checkpoint, at least. That freaked me out, by the way. The DK barrel falling and him spawning away. Uh, that is a mini necky. They look a little different, and they function differently, too. I just didn't give him a chance to show that. Oh, bonus barrel right there. There's nothing to the right there. Oh, shit. Oh, I just coughed really hard. Now I fucking see stars. Find the creme coin. I'm not sure if I'll do that or not. So far, I'm impressed that I've found all the secrets. Like, they're not, like, ridiculously well hidden. And just having, like, vague memory of their locations makes finding them pretty easy. And that's actually one of my favorite things about replaying uh, games like this. Is that, like, even if I don't actively remember a ton... Yeah, they fly at you like this. Even if I don't actively remember a ton, I have just the right amount of memory that it makes finding secrets not difficult and, I think, even more fun than the first time. There's something really satisfying about retreading ground that you have experience in. Uh, I, I, just, I just love replaying games. Obviously, that's mostly the case with short games, just because... I don't, I don't often replay games that are tens of hours long, because it's a lot of time. I don't have as much free time as I used to. Oh, uh, left here is progress, I'm pretty certain. But I can't go back, so... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 there's this. Yeah, very satisfying. Find the token. I'm not going to alternate. I'm just going to read it as is. For now, at least. Until I actually decide if I ever do. But bouncing on enemies normally. Oh, I actually commented this in the first series. I forgot. Uh, the giant barrels actually function exactly like the normal barrels from the first game. Oh, we didn't get the DK coin. <laughs> okay, that was really funny. Oh, but now I have to go all the way around again. I'm not sure where the DK coin is. There's a chance that despite my, like, boasting, I will have to look it up. Uh, obviously, just like before, TNT can kill zingers. I just wanted that. Banana coin. I don't remember. I think it's just to the right where I said left is progress. Yeah, this takes me up, and then I get the N, which I missed before. And I can see that bonus barrel, which is cool. Okay, that's not a thing I was trying to do. I'm, gonna have to, I'm having to focus a little more here. It sucks when you land just as the zinger is going over. Oh. It's way easier to do this with Dixie because she can just make the distance. I don't... I think that, that one blast barrel was part of the other thing. But yeah, a normal enemies, you can either hold A to do a big bounce or not to do a short bounce. Tires, the little ones in the first game and the big ones here, don't work with that. They just always, uh... They just always bounce you high. Yeah. It's funny to be on it when you switch. Okay, I, I don't know where the DK coin is. That's concerning. Yeah, also, Dixie can entirely just skip that straight up. Is it, like, around here? No. 
No. Ugh. I have an idea where it might be. Although first, I'm actually gonna go read that thing. Drop into the other comms, dudes. We're all here to help you guys. That's one that I didn't read last time. Because I didn't notice it was a new thing. I wasn't paying attention. It's a real problem I have quite often. Monkey Museum. I'm also going to save. Because why not? Come on in. Have yourselves a look around and buy some of this trash, why don't you? Go ahead. Test my amazing knowledge. Below the letter K, you'll find a reward if you avoid the danger. There we go. Oh, I forget that all four buttons are confirmation. It's, it's just weird to me that I can't just press B. I'm not sure if you can in... Um, Pick it and kick it, Kongs. You're A-OK. -okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you can press B in three. I think you can, actually. God, my fucking throat. I think I'm, like, subconsciously worried about not being loud enough, and so I'm being louder than normal or talking more uh, passionately? I don't know. With more of my throat, maybe? Or did I, like, use this hook for something? Yeah, I can just use it to get up here. It's around these TNT barrels, I'm pretty sure. Oh, fuck. I was going to use Dixie. No, it's not there. Oh, 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 that's right. This one's weird. It's in this bonus. I'm glad I remembered. You just go over here. Really weird. There we go. 100% that level. Just looking at the time. And we're not going to finish this world, but we're going to get close, I think. Lava Lagoon. Ooh. No, I think this is the level I was thinking of. I was, I thought it was in three, but no, it is here in the last video. Because that's lava. We die instantly. Oh, yeah. This is another animal buddy. Not the one I was thinking of, but this is Clapper. Jump on him and he'll shoot ice into the water or into the lava. Or I think it's actually just really hot water. Uh, and that'll cool it down enough that you can, like, spend some time in it. It'll slowly keep back up. And once it has this, like, sort of opacity change, then it'll damage you. You can still go in it uh, when it starts to change color, as you saw. This, I think, is... No. Ow. Oh, I'm fucked. No, okay, he doesn't go into the hole. Ugh. Uh, uh, there might be something there. Let's go back and see. No, maybe not. I don't remember the level, the secrets in the water levels as much. Feels weird to call this one a water level, but it, it like I said, it is water, not lava. But you want to go pretty fast. I'm going too slow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's... There's a secret we missed. Well, that looked weird. How do we... Did, did, I, did I just miss it or can I get to it from this side? I don't... I think I missed it. If you come up here, uh, there's a barrel that makes you in invincible. Oh my god, if I can get to it. Oh my god, if I can get to it. There we go. This one might take a bunch of tries to get through. I'm not going to worry with the con letters. Because the invincibility goes off immediately without warning. It ends. It doesn't, like, start... Yeah, it doesn't, like, start changing on timing. It just ends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we missed a bonus already. This level stresses me out. I feel like that up there is a bonus, but I, I 
I don't think it is, actually. There is one over here, though. Well, it's not a bonus, but it does have on guard. And I think this is one level where you need the animal friend to... Ah, shit, to get everything. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, we're dead. Ooh, can I salvage this, actually? I did! Nice! I think there's a path up here. No, I'm wrong. Uh-oh. There's some way to get on guard. Oh, oh no, get off of him! Oh, I am so confused. Yeah, sometimes on guard will automatically lunge forward and attack. He doesn't always do it when I expect him to. I don't really understand how it works. No, he just turns into a life. Oh, the secrets. There's one bonus right up that way. Oh! And right here. You can use on guard to charge. No, you can't. It ends before then. You just use a barrel. Destroy them all. I'm so confused right now. Uh, the water level bonuses tend to be the sort of maze ones. Well, I don't think they're always like this. Well, this one's not really a maze. It's, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Whoa. The way it froze there freaked me out. I thought it, like, froze. For real. Oh, these are called tickers, I think? Or something similar to that. They're named after the sound they make. Ticker is also an enemy in, um... Well, in Banjo-Kazooie, I think. Uh, but also in Doom 3. No, I can't go down. I, I'm running out of time. Yeah. When you reach certain areas, the water level changes, just like the first water level. Oh, shit! Oh, I almost made it out. Okay, so I'm missing at least one bonus. There's something to, that you use this barrel with, I think, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, I missed the DK coin and at least one bonus. I think one. Did we unlock Cranky? Because I could really use a hint. No, we unlocked Wrinkly. Which is good, because I forgot to save in the last time. The last, when I was in the other world. What? Well, just look at those sums those Kremlings have done. Disgraceful. Oh, is that them on the wall there? That's like exam results. Uh... Yeah, might as well read all of these. Ratley the snake. To make your snake buddy jump in midair, walk off an edge and press the jump button as he falls. Which is cool, because that kind of feels like an intentional thing, but no, 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 it's, un it's intentional. Rope climbing. Press and hold the Y button when you're on the ropes, and you will climb up and down them faster than normal. True, I forgot to mention that. Kong letters. Collect all four of these on a level to earn an extra life. Squitter's web platform. To create a, pla a web platform, press the A button or either of the top L and R buttons. Press the button again to stop the web and form a platform in the desired position. Krem coins. For every bonus level you complete, you will get one of these. Collect a lot, and you can use them at Clubba's kiosk. Area guard guardian. So I'll I'll show this when we see the boss. I don't know why my throat is so dry. Come back if you've got any problems now. Like math problems? Ugh, oh, I forgot to save. Oh my god, I am all over the place. I apologize. You're looking a little weary, dear. Would you like to save your game? Yes, I am very weary. Whoa, the sprites jittered there for a sec. I'm going to waste some money because I want to see what percentage we're at. 24%. My, that is a lot, isn't it? Try to find some more tokens. That's her statement if you don't have enough money. I'll be here if you need me. So the next level is Red Hot Ride, but we are just going to finish Lava Lagoon. Oh! There's only one bonus, it looks like. So actually, I, I do know exactly where the DK coin is. So I will see you back there. Also, a weird thing. When you break a DK barrel, 
the DK logo stays on screen for like a single frame. Uh, if it's a different number, it's this. Uh, I want this coin. This is not worth it, but I want this coin. It's really weird, because I notice it sometimes. Oh, shit. It's he Here's a secret. You can get that coin like that. It's not actually a bonus, but it's a secret. I think you go up through here? No. By the way, you can hit him under water to still make him shoot out the ice. Yeah, you come in through here. And then up top. Oh, that's actually just where the N is. Not the DK coin. Shit. I guess I'm gonna get to searching. That's funny, they just slowly float, so they're just stuck up here now. Okay. Oh, there's a coin down there. That's cool. Oh! I remember for real this time. <laughs> Perfect timing, because that was funny, and it's after the checkpoint, so. You don't need on guard, although I could have grabbed him for the life. Whoa, he spawned on screen. That's crazy. Ugh. The lock jaws are freaking me out. You actually want to grab one of the tickers. One of these guys. Right? I might, I, I, I might have spoken too soon about actually remembering where it is. In a momento. What was that? I have no idea what that sound was about. It's down this way, right? Yeah, okay. I actually found it. Nice. It is right before the end, of course. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, here it is. Here's him with the boombox. I have shown that, I just haven't addressed it or mentioned it which is the same thing but whatever god i'm out of it uh so yeah that'll be it for this video and the next one we'll finish this world and start on the next one thanks for watching